What is up guys, Dr. Zedris here bringing you another video on Don't Starve Dine Edition. So, a friend of mine told me the reason I went all cuckoo crazy is because I was carrying my favorite satanic flowers, or evil flowers for that fact, and um, yeah, I lost my mind. But I did notice that when I am building stuff from the science machine, I actually gain sanity. So I guess if you're not using your head around, then you start to lose it, so... I guess that's how it goes. So, um, in today's um, episode, we're gonna actually be playing Willow. Because a friend of mine told me that Willow has, like, yeah, all these things. It's a munifier, has a sweet lighter, and starts fires when nervous, so... I'm guessing that's when I'm insane. So, that'll be cool. Alright, let's see how far we get. again. Ah. Ooh, I got a lighter. Oh wow. Oh gosh. How do I put it back in? Um Okay. I'm just gonna go around and uh gather some stuff. Blah blah blah. So, this is pretty cool. I'm playing as Willow, and um, I can basically start a fire whenever I want. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know why it would just like, I don't know if it's just, just like a little girl, or if it's just a grown girl. Because like, at first I thought Wilson was actually probably like in his teens or something, where he's like a really, like, He's almost like a kid, but as soon as I found out he grew his magnificent beard, I was I was like, what the heck? How old is this guy? So, I guess in this perspective, it's a little bit almost like like kid dwarfish kind of style. So I made a mistake. You know, this character has a little girl that starts fires, but maybe she's like all grown up, and then she just she's just really insane in the membrane. Carrots. Oh yeah, I heard about these blue mushrooms. My friend also told me that I think first you eat the blue mushrooms and eat like the red caps or something like that. And it also gives us back sanity. Who would have thought that mushrooms give you sanity? I should probably start looking for food. And I just realized I forgot to set the day longer. Because, um, in a way, this game is like, um, it's a little bit like art. Like, you could change the days and, and the spawnings and stuff like that. But I'm the kind of guy that likes to keep everything original in the way it is. So, I... Uh-oh. So, basically, I, um, I just like to keep it the way it is. I don't know if you guys are like that, or hopefully you guys understand why I like it like that, but that's pretty much it. These go so fast. Alright, this should be enough goods for now. I seriously would love to play this game on my own. Like, I really would love to. But, I mean, when it comes to reaction... Shoot, I'm gonna get sued. <laughs> When it comes to like first time um, realizations or something like that, I need to look up some wiki Google words or something like that. But basically, I don't want to miss my first time experiencing um, certain things. So I only play this game really when I'm recording or something, and it's a really fun thing to do. I did the same thing with. Ooh, go, oh, I need gold, 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 gold. Nuggets. I did the same thing with the Binding of Isaac. There were some times where I accidentally did went ahead and went forth. But, I mean, I didn't do it on purpose. It just sort of happened, so. What the heck is that noise? Mmm, 
gold. Oh crap, I need food. What's that noise? Oh, this dude. Not anymore. This is a really cool game though. Oh man, my friend also told me that there's a multiplayer version of this too. It's called Don't Starve Together. And oh my gosh. It's... I'm a little bit disappointed that this is like a solo kind of game. But if I were to... If Don't Starve Together came on Xbox One, then I'd be like so happy and I'd like to play this, you know, with all my friends and stuff. And maybe with some of you guys as well. But it's really cool that... I don't know, it's just like a really cool, whoa, what the heck? It's just a really cool game. And it's, oh, oh gosh, I didn't mean to go down there. Did I die? What? Whoa, this is so cool. Oh crap, how do I get back up? Oh. Ah, oh gosh. Oh. <gasps> he took my rope! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. That was a booby trap. Oh man, I want to go down there again though, but it's freaking spiders. Oh gosh. What the heck? Why is there like a heavenly light? Alright, I'm gonna build a little campfire. And I finally, yeah, last episode of Discovery, I could actually ask you. I was just an idiot. save one carrot. Maybe I could like grow something. Let's eat that stuff. Is this like a good location? Yeah, this is pretty good location. I think I'm gonna build the science machine here. Yay. One thing I do want to get, most of all, is the backpack. I love this thing. It will save your life. And room. Well, also, okay, since I have a lighter, I don't even need a torch. I can't even grow a beard. Wait, you're beatnik. Beatnik beard? Um... I hope that's not referring to something like, you know, down there. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be, that, that would not be nice. Ah, daytime has arrived. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to see if I can get as much of supplies as I could get, get some weapons, and then go back down there and whoop some spider butt and then I would see what I could find around there. I also need like protection and healing items so and of course food because the one thing you can't do in this game is starve. Well you can but I mean why would you wanna? And I do not have a pickaxe. Dang it. Good old jazz music. Ooh. Well, I should look for more food. I guess 
I shouldn't do this, but I mean, might as well. What the heck is that? Uh, what the heck is this? Wet lying robot. Okay, no more, no more, no more. Ooh, never mind. Golly, I'm finding lots of good stuff around this place. God dang it, I'm busy. Why is there gold laying around? Can gold actually appear out of the ground? I don't even know what that is. Why are there so many? Well, at least they're... At least they're kind of friendly. Okay, I take that back, I take it back. Oh my gosh. Am I dead? Well, I can't be dead. Can I? No, but I am becoming insane, so crap. Gosh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, okay. F fuel. What the heck is that? Oh my gosh. Crap, okay. I'm gonna be sciencey about this stuff. Um I don't think becoming a scientist is working out for me. Oh man, I needed the mushrooms. I'm so screwed. Oh wait. Aww. Oh well, that's it. All I gotta do is just build stuff. I'm a scientist, and I have recovered my sanity. Alright. I built some weird doodads that I don't even know. Wait, can I cook this? Oh my gosh, yum. Oh, and I lost sanity. Gosh damn. Ah. You're freaking kidding me. Ah, that sucks. Those freaking bats. Okay. That was pure stupid fuck. I don't even know. That was that was dumb. Ah, oh, dang it. Now I'm gonna freaking go and just... Ugh. Alright. 
If it turns night, at least I'll have my trusty lighter. I wonder if there's like a real medical condition that you're like addicted to fire. And if that is a true case, then this person must have it. I mean, I don't know who'd be addicted to fire. I mean, fire's cool and all, but the fact that you want to burn everything and stuff, it's kind of like... That's a little bit concerning. But, oh well. Ah, uh, let's see. Structures, chests, design, hay wall. Might as well. you out with my with my wall. Ugh, that thing is dangerous. Chester, follow me. Yay, Chester. Follow me, Chester. Ooh, a blue cap? I'm not too sure what a blue cap would do. Wake up! Oh my gosh, I freaking swear. Yep, I'm so fucked. You know what? I'm not even gonna go. I, I'm gonna move. Uh, that's, uh, like that's it. I'm gonna move. So far, can hell. I'm gonna move basically all the way in here. Uh, are, are those zombie pigs? Oh my god. I like it here better anyways. So I'm gonna camp. Somewhere away from bees, because bees are jerks. Need seeds. I think here would be nice. It's another wormhole. Yeah, I think here would be nice. So. Of 
course I need I'm one I'm one log short. Damn that. It takes food to make food. That's awesome. So I'm gonna kill pigs. This is kind of cozy now. The cold it burns. Slowly going insane. I guess if I'm not stressed or anything or something, my sanity goes up. Mr. Big Guy. What a disgusting hairy beast. That's rude. Ew, nasty but useful. So this is basically the world's biggest grassy plains. What I need to do is I need to go out and explore. Basically. Oh gosh. What the fuck?
full moon. Well, at least I don't have to see things, but... Oh man, it's a full moon. I don't think it really does anything, it just helps me see, which is pretty good. But I don't know if there's like any creatures that come out during a full moon. If there is, I'd be kind of scared. And I'm freezing. It's such a cool, like, color effect to it. Like, it looks cool. Like all the little dark colors go with like a little um, style. Like, I don't know. It's just really, it's just a really cool thing. It's like I said, it's like the Nightmare Before Christmas, or it looks like something else too, but I can't put my finger on it. I don't know, what does it look like to you guys? Flowers. I'm finding lots of carrots now. Like, carrots has really been up in this game. Or map, or seed, I don't know. I think it does like that thing in the Binding of Vi- Oh gosh, it's an evil flower. But I think it's like the Binding of Isaac to where it's like, uh, oh gosh. It's like random seeds. I am getting lost. Alright, I think I'm just gonna head back. And, uh, yeah. head back and some um, just kind of like rest there for now I think this game saves like if I were to exit this game oh gosh then you know why is he like that come here butterfly like the only good thing in this game that actually helps. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Nothing really much happened, but I mean, that spider cave, I found it, and I think next episode we're gonna go down it once we're all prepared and like, we're at max health and stuff. But, um, I think that's gonna be it for recording. But, um, man. I just want to like sit down for one day and like play the heck out of this game because I don't know it's just really interesting and it's you can just stumble upon anything weird and it's pretty cool. Nom, nom, nom. It's been one hour and 40 minutes of recording time, so I think I'm going to like end this episode here. But, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm probably going to be posting more videos on this, too, as well. And, um, probably some new videos, like, from different games, but it really all depends. So, leave a comment down below how much you're liking this. Um... I can never get used to like recording by myself, but I mean, it's worth trying for, and like, I don't know, it's just a cool thing, like a cool feeling, experiencing something for the first time with someone, and no, I'm not talking about that, but like, I don't know, it's like, I don't want to play this game without you guys, because, well, I don't know, something interesting happens, like, I met that freaking huge bird, and then I went to like some weird place, and there's zombie pigs as well. 
and I'm still trying to learn, like, the, I'm trying to get the hang of this kind of stuff, you know? Like, I need armor, and I want to keep my backpack, I got Chester, but I mean, there's also, like, other stuff like a football helmet, and, um, I really want to get, like, a boomerang, but I don't know how to get the special kind of wood, but I'll ask my friend, because he plays this game a lot, and... Uh, I really, I really want to get Don't Starve together because it's multiplayer and we can play with friends and all. But thank you guys so much for watching. More episodes of Don't Starve is coming soon. And until the next video, pizza.